Hey there lovely people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time here right now is 11.10, okay? Uh, it's not early morning, it's very sunny out there and I don't want to go to outdoors because the sun's gonna get me a headache. So I'm doing shoots in my room. I'm not really all that well. I'm having a little bit, uh, you can say, headache and a little bit cold and some health issues that's going on for some time. Um, but you know, I'm gonna do the videos anyway for you. So uh, we have a fragrance called X. Uh, vitalizing mojito from the wild line this is basically an aftershave okay this is not a uh, full-on perfume that you know you'll find it uh, like me doing like body sprays they have body sprays perfume I recently bought uh, dark temptation that fragrance out which I'll review soon but this caught my eye you know I bought it and I'm not sure if there are many reviews on it so I decided to review this okay so now uh, this is an aftershave 100 ml this cost in Bangladesh taka about 900 taka plus VAT. I think it's around ten dollars price bracket if you talk about usd and uh, it's a splash basically you can do one thing you can decan this stuff you can use it as a, a sprayer or a, uh, you can use it as a splash but this is a nice smelling fragrance okay this is what i liked about it they have this new line and i got this in a wholesale market in jumuna future park underground that's where they have a lot of these products they are the importer of this you can find other places as well so it's it's an affordable perfume in a way but for aftershave lovers, you can try it out. I wish they made a perfume version of it so people can use it, okay? So here you go. The new packaging looks like this. They have this uh, name, cool name, Vitalizing Mojito, right? And you guys all know what Mojito is. And they have this nice little leaf, I think. Is this like a, I don't know, mint, uh, lemon leaf? I don't know what they represents, but really nice. Except all this nice cool shower gel. I mean, I like the way they smell. They're very sporty. And I have covered, I bought many, many, uh, X products in my uh, like student years, like especially body sprays and all that. And I really like their concept, you know, they have some interesting cool concept, definitely cool ads back in the days. So that's that aftershave, okay. And it's from the wild line and the bottles, they have one cedar collection as well, of which I wanna review as well. But the bottles are very plain. It's like a, just a, like a transparent bottle, nothing much going on the cap. The cap sort of like, it's not very good locking mechanism. I don't know if it locks properly or not, but it moves, okay? And then when you take it out, there's a splash system, like 4711 cologne. Uh, if you know that one, this one, you just put some, like, you know, like some on yourself like that. You see, okay? So I'm gonna review from that, okay? So you can do, uh, like, transfer some of this on the decan bottle and you can use it as a sprayer. So first of all, the negatives of this, okay? Um, the negative, <laughs> is the performance okay guys if you buy this as a like a perfume that you can wear for at least two three hours is not going to happen this fragrance sort of disappears within one and a half hours basically that's it one hour it's gone uh, and that's how aftershaves work but not all some of the aftershaves like tabak or uh, gillette wild rain that my favorite back in the days or um, something like maybe uh, old spice they perhaps give you extra mile but not with the x okay this one it's just a nice little charm for 45 minutes to one hour, okay? Very, very weak in longevity. So there you go. You have to carry this bottle around and spray every one hour if you want to be noticed, okay? But this is an aftershave. This is not supposed to uh, be a perfume per se. This is not EDD, EDD concentration or EDP or anything like it. So you can say it's even lesser concentration than a splash. It's an aftershave. So let's treat it as such, okay? So that's where I would say the negatives end, okay? Uh, absolutely heavenly smell. This is a hidden gem in that way, if you like, mojito. And this fragrance reminds me very, very strongly of Guerlain's uh, Lo Boise, Guerlain Homme Lo Boise. I have a bottle of it, the vintage, in my box, right, right here at the left, right there. I don't want to take it out because it's a lot of work. I do have the newer version. So basically, if you ever like that, I think this is a very close alternative to that. It also reminds me of something like Guerlain's, I think, uh, one other fragrance which has a lot of mint and then some of the other mints because uh, Mojito has mint, okay? Mojito is mint, uh, lemon, something some people use Sprite, okay? And then they use rum. So this one, you get all those good stuff. If you actually enjoy drinking Mojito, you're going to enjoy this a lot. This is a very fun, very summer, very refreshing, modern sort of a product they made. And I like that. The cedar one smells so good, guys. Uh, maybe next day I'll buy it and review it. But nowadays I'm getting like losing control, you know, like I'm running out of space, I'm buying too many fragrances to review, and these fragrances I cannot resell or anything. Uh, but 
parcel gifted to someone, maybe my dad or someone of my friends. This is a hell of a fragrance, you know, just this fun of it, you know, just forget about the longevity and everything. The price is okay, but some people may say, if this was five bucks, I would do it. Yeah, maybe it's five bucks in some other country where you buy two, you get one free, okay? But the love, the way it smells on my hand, it gives you a feel of like a refreshing, you know, that mint is so refreshing. And then you can imagine like maybe some herbal tea as well. You know, it has this kind of like a tea kick. So yeah, very, it, it's a mojito. It's a kind of like a uh, herbal drink with the tea, you know, and it's really, really sweet too. It gets really sweet. It's not as bitter as some of the other mint based perfumes are. So it's very wearable. They kept it so nice, even though it's a synthetic release, but it smells natural for some reason, you know, I don't know. This price point, you can get hardly anything of this quality. Yeah, you can finish this bottle within two weeks time because you keep respraying. But then you can remember this aftershave. But I would treat it as a cologne. If I wear it, I'll just come out of the shower. And then, you know, on a warm day, you put some of this on your neck. If you actually sort of like took a shower and then shaved, this would be like a perfect combo. I don't really particularly like alcohol based aftershaves. I haven't shaven in like so many years. I kept my beard and stuff. But if you are shaving, uh, I suggest the balm, you know, like the milky ones, the lotion ones, those are better for your skin. These ones, alcohol sort of, sort, you know, makes your skin uh, pull, you know, they make it dry. And then, you know, it, you feel this kind of like a pulling sensation, which I don't like. But I would wear it as a cologne, okay? But it's an aftershave. So do what you like. So uh, wrapping it up, I really like the way the packaging is pretty exotic. It reminds me of Africa, CH, uh, not CHMN Africa. X had an Africa release somewhere you know which was very nice perfume but the smell of it i never smell anything like this from this line this reminds me of some of the high-end designer mojito based fragrances so definitely try if you like booze if you like fun if you like sunny days and sporty even for gym you can wear this okay and carry atomizer as i said it will solve your problem of longevity can be worn in office gym uh, at an open bar by the pool it's really really good fragrance so overall X Aftershave Vitalizing Mojito. This is a fragrance I would highly recommend to people for you to try. Interesting packaging, nothing very solid. These are like flimsy cardboard packaging, but you'll find it at Wholesale Club, okay? That's where I bought it from, you can see. Okay, Nine, 900 taka something plus VAT, right? So overall rating for the smell, I'll give it like nine out of 10. I love the way it smells. Longevity is too. <laughs> Price is good. And the splash, you know, the bottle is nothing to be crazy about or anything to die for. But, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Okay. Overall rating for this, if you ask me to rate it just based on the smell, I would give it like an 8.5 out of 10. Okay. That good. But long duration impression issues, if you don't think it's worth it, it's okay. You can pass. But at least smell it once if they have a test. Okay. Overall rating for this 8.5 in my humble opinion. For the smell, long during projection, forget about it, there's nothing <laughs> there. Have a nice day, see you soon, and one more review, then we'll upload this. Take care.